Hello friends, welcome to my channel Master the Monster. Let's enter into the world of polynomials. Trust me, this is going to be an easy and interesting section of mathematics. You may have few doubts and questions regarding polynomials, the degree of polynomials, zeros, division of polynomials, what are quadratic polynomials, geometric meaning, all those things in your mind. No worries, let us sort out all the questions one by one. Before that, subscribe to my channel so that you will enjoy learning maths. Class 10 CBC Maths Chapter 2 Polynomials Exercise 2.2 Problem Number 2 Find a quadratic polynomial each with the given numbers as the sum and product of its zeros respectively. Okay, now in our previous problem, we are given a polynomial P of X and we are asked to find the zeros of the polynomial alpha and beta, right? Polynomial is given, you are asked to find the zeros. In this problem, you are given the sum and product of zeros, you are asked to find the polynomial. The sum and product of zeros means you are given alpha plus beta and alpha into beta. These are given. And you are asked to find the polynomial P of X, right? You have to find what is P of X. Oh, in such cases, that is when alpha plus beta and alpha into beta are given, that is sum and product of the zeros of given, we can write the polynomial as, the required polynomial is X square. It's a quadratic polynomial. So we find a quadratic polynomial with the two roots, two zeros, right? So the quadratic polynomial will be of the form x square minus sum of the roots that is alpha into beta x plus product of the roots that is alpha into beta. So, so this is the required polynomial. This is what I am going to use in each of the cases. Alright. Okay. Now we will start with the problem with the first set of numbers given. First set of numbers given as 1 by 4 minus 1. That is given alpha plus beta. That is sum of roots is 1 by 4. And alpha into beta. That is product of roots equal minus 1. So now the polynomial is this one. Isn't it? X square minus alpha plus beta into X plus alpha beta. Therefore, the required quadratic polynomial is X square minus 1 by 4 into x plus minus 1. So I can simplify this x square minus 1 by 4x minus 1. This can also be written by dividing throughout by 4 as 4x square minus x minus 4. So this is the required quadratic polynomial. So this is how we find the quadratic polynomial given the sum and product of its zeros. Now we can subdivision the sum given is root 2 and the product given is 1 by 3. Therefore, the required quadratic polynomial is x square minus root 2 into x plus 1 by 3. This can also be written by dividing throughout by 3 as 3x three square minus 3 root 2x plus 1. So this is my required polynomial for the given set of numbers root 2 and 1 by 3. Okay, let's move on to the third subdivision. The numbers given are 0 and root 5. That is sum of the zeros is 0 and the product of the zeros is root 5. Therefore, the required Quadratic polynomial is x square minus 0 into x plus root 5. So this can be written as x square plus root 5. So this is the required polynomial. Now let's pass on to the fourth subdivision. The numbers given here are 1 and 1. That is sum of roots alpha plus beta equal 1. And product of roots alpha into beta is also equal to 1. So in this case, the required polynomial is x square minus 1 into x plus 1. That is x square minus x plus 1. So this is the required 
quadratic polynomial whose sum of zeros is 1 and product of zeros is 1. Right? Now let's pass on to the fourth subdivision. Given the sum of zeros is minus 1 by 4 and product of zeros alpha into beta is 1 by 4. Okay, now the required quadratic polynomial. x square minus of minus 1 by 4 x plus 1 by 4. So that's equal x square plus 1 by 4 x because minus into minus gives me plus and plus 1 by 4. This can also be written by dividing throughout by 4 as 4 x square by multiplying throughout by 4 as 4 x square plus x plus 1. So this is my required polynomial whose sum of zeros are minus 1 by 4 and product of zeros is 1 by 4. In, in sixth subdivision given alpha plus beta equal 4 and alpha beta equal 1. Therefore, the required quadratic polynomial is given by x square minus 4 into x plus 1. So, this is the a required polynomial whose sum of roots is 4 and product of zeros is 1. This is how we find the quadratic polynomials given the sum and product of its zeros. Hope you all understand. Thank you.